Are you thinking of going to school for photography and or filmmaking? Well, you've come to the right place, so let's get into it. What is going on everybody? If you're new around here, my name's Finn Badgley, I'm a commercial fashion portrait photographer. And today I'm going to help you figure out if you should go to school for photography or filmmaking or if you should do something else. I'm going to try to keep this pretty much as unbiased as possible. I myself went to college for both photography and then later filmmaking. So when it comes to things like this, no matter what school you go to, you pretty much get out what you put in. For me personally, when I went, I put a lot into it, so I got a lot out of it. So. Do with that information what you will. A lot of you are probably coming to this video wondering if it's worth it. And I would say there are some things that were worth it for me and some things that weren't. Do you need to go to school for photography, for film, for any creative endeavor like that? The short answer is no. When they say it's all about who you know, to some degree that is very accurate. Now. In my experience, was it worth it for me? Yes, it was. And the reason that it was is because I met the people and made the connections that are directly related to how I got to where I am today. If I didn't meet those people, it would have taken me a lot more figuring out and a lot more trial and error to even attempt to get where I am right now. Now, that also said, there are a lot of people that I went to school with that aren't still pursuing that. and whether for personal reasons or because they wanted to study something else or found it wasn't for them or they just couldn't see it through. Early on in my career, every job I had, every endeavor I pursued could pretty much somehow be traced back to connections that I made in college. While I was studying, I started working alongside a real estate photographer and videographer. That connection I made through somebody that I ended up being friends with at college. My first actual fashion client was the direct result of somebody that I did a shoot for who I met in college. And if you don't know, I've also worked for the past couple years in the film industry and what got me there was the direct result of somebody who I was friends with in college. I'm kind of sounding like a broken record here. but. A lot of what it comes down to is the fact that I was willing to put myself out there at the time. You might be asking, okay, how do I make these connections? Well, a lot of it was my willingness to put myself out there and make those connections for myself. They don't always come to you, and a lot of these, they didn't come to me. I still needed to put in the effort to have that opportunity in the first place. And this is why it was worth it to me, because a lot of the professional growth that has happened over the course of my career thus far all stemmed from those initial connections that I made and the things that I learned in the process of going to school. Now, I also have to acknowledge, while that was how I made all these connections in the first place, it would take a little more me figuring out what I was doing and a little more trial and error. And it might take a little longer because of that, but there's also less upfront cost there, so it becomes a, way, a, a game of pros and cons, really. Now, for a lot of people, college is extremely expensive and can put you in debt for the majority of your life. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I had the benefit of being able to graduate from college with absolutely zero debt. And that is part of what has set me up for the career that I have started down already. But I also want to acknowledge that for a lot of you, my story isn't the same as yours and you may not be in a situation that would allow you to come out of college with no debt and you'd be carrying that and that would burden you and your career. So if you are looking into college or university or anything like that for photography and filmmaking and you are going to go into serious debt to do so, I may recommend against it. Now, the other thing that made it worthwhile for me was that going in, I didn't quite really have a sense of my artistic style and my voice and how I wanted to express that. And through the two years of photography and 
one year of filmmaking that I took, it allowed me to figure out my style and my voice and where I wanted to go in the world. And that positioning has set me up for the road that I've already started down. And that's not to say that I wouldn't have figured out that style anyways. I, f I definitely think I would have. Just like I said earlier though, it probably would have taken more time and had a lot more trial and error involved with it. And that said, there is also some industry secrets that I learned along the way that have allowed me to kind of expedite this process a little bit. And you'll also hear the advice of if you do want to go and get the college experience, we'll call it, that maybe business or marketing or something like that would be smarter to go into because then it can give you that business knowledge of how to create a sustainable career for yourself and how to market yourself effectively. And then with that, take the photography or the filmmaking courses kind of alongside that. Myself, I actually kind of did the opposite. I wanted to be really hands-on in studying photography and filmmaking, but alongside that, I also took all the business courses, economics, marketing that I could, and then also learned all of that on the internet anyways, because it's the majority of it is right where this is. Like it's, and that's another thing too, that you can learn so much online that it may not even necessarily be necessary for you. To be frank, the amount that I have learned actually out there in the world working on set, whether it be in film production or on various photography sets, whether it be me assisting for somebody else or me running the show, I learned more in the process of that in a month, two months, than I did in my entire schooling. And they'll even tell you that in school. It's learning the fundamentals so you can go off and do that and you end up learning so much so fast once you get there. Now, was the knowledge that I got out of it really worth it? Based on being able to figure out my style, I would still say yes, but I know a lot of people who weren't able to achieve that, and for them it wasn't worth it. And I've met a lot of people who it wasn't worth it to go to school for that, and that's okay. I don't want you to necessarily feel pressured based on this societal idea of, oh, you need to go to school to succeed. Creative fields like these, you really don't need a degree or a diploma at all. And I know everybody makes it sound like you need one to be successful, but you really don't. And if it's going to put you in serious debt to get there, then I just don't think that's practical and I don't think it's worth it. What it really comes down to is after you weigh the pros and cons, figure out if it's right for you. And if it's going to put you in serious debt for most of your life to do that, then I don't think it's worth it and I think there are other ways that you can still get to where you want to be and you can still figure it out on your own. Forge your own path. But also, if you're in a unique situation like mine where you're not going to have any debt at the end of it and you can figure out your style and your voice and kind of expedite the process of getting to where you want to be, then that is a great option too. And whether or not you even go to school for it, while you're practicing and honing your skill, you can reach out to other photographers or filmmakers and offer to assist them. So that way you can learn as quickly as possible and get that actual on-set experience that is so, so valuable. And if you choose not to go to college, you can also use the money that you would have spent to get there. You can reinvest that into yourself, whether it's in camera equipment, lenses, lighting, gear, etc. Or traveling, finding new experiences, or anything in between. The, the sky's the limit. But if you invest in yourself, you can also get to where you want to go a lot quicker and more effectively. So that was a bit of a long-winded answer and probably less direct than you would want it to be. But you really have to look at what is going to be best for you and I think deep down you'll know it was right for me and thus far it's worked out but it might not be right for you and that is a hundred percent okay now with that all said thank you guys for watching show the like button some love 
Comment down below if you like to see this kind of thing. Subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos, and I'll see you on the next one. The cat's doing some stuff down here. Um, don't mind the cat. You know, cat things. Stop it. Hey. Enough of that. More cat shenanigans. That cat shenanigans. Look at this. Cat. Cat cat. There goes the cat. Cool. Cat shenanigans. Cat shenanigans. Hey. Stop it. Stop it. Do you want to say hi? There goes my light. But here's a cat. Okay, we're done. We're done now.